Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today and let's get right into the analysis. Uh, again, markets continue to chop higher today and I believe, no we did not make a new all-time high, we are actually still uh, ranging inside this green candle here so we're getting some inside, inside candle price action. Uh, this should continue higher. Uh, again, following through my analysis on you know many weeks of the, the SPY going up. Uh, we did not get the extension lower here. So we get on the 45 minute. You guys can probably tell we kind of had an ABC uh, pattern correction set up here. Uh, and again, I mean, it could still technically play out unless we take out this pivot and we extend the B wave higher. But at that point, if the markets really continue to push higher, uh, you could really have a you know your way three already uh, starting and uh, you might you might already be done this uh, little small correction that i have outlined here and we may not hit this target right you don't want to you don't want to bet on it right you and you know vix is falling vix is getting crushed again uh, we remain short the volatility index we are short the vix so uh, s vix continues to go up from our current position we we're up probably about uh, six percent already it's only been two days so that trade is going very well uh, spy yeah should continue higher right so again these are these are my price targets i expect us to get to the five thousand one hundred dollar area on the s p 500. Uh, let's take a look at the small caps today so the small caps actually came back into the sell area uh, sorry this buy area not the sell area and we're coming out of it once again now what we need to see is a clear break above you know in the in, in the short term from this down sloping trend line which we did you know, we got a nice little clean break here not to not not you know this is a very short term uh that's whole big trend line it's not like a major one a major one would probably be this one right here so if you can get above this one uh, you could really confirm that you're in the wave three but what right we're, what we're in right now would possibly be a very intermediate or minor wave one and then we'll probably pull back in two uh, and then continue up in a three of three uh, so again, that's probably what's going to happen in my opinion, but uh, we'll we'll take it day by day. The setup is going well, or we are currently long the Russell 2000, so th that should continue higher. Okay. Uh, all right, let's take a look at uh, the triple Qs as well. So the triple Qs, a bit of a down day today. Again, Nvidia weighing down the market. I think I had a couple tech stocks today uh, bleeding down just a little bit. Nvidia was down about four percent at one point, but again, they are getting a uh, you know pretty elevated here stretch thin in a wave three which should finish up at any moment so the fifth wave is finishing up uh looking at these smaller time frames what you have a bearish divergence now so top of wave three wave five so this could finish at any moment and uh, when you start to roll over and you take out the low of wave four then you'll really know that the, you're already in your abc of a larger wave four retrace and then you'll continue higher finishing up in the fifth wave later on um, and then we'll take a look here at uh, Roku. Let's take a look at Roku here. So Roku um, getting a nice little pop today, up 6%. And again, I did say that, you know, what this was our buy, buy area. Beautiful. Like, I mean, sometimes it doesn't work like to the tick. But for Roku, like I said yesterday, like I just can't believe <laughs> how well it's working out. And it's just, it's just amazing. So right now we should be in a powerful wave 3. Uh, five wave move inside of wave three so you should see this come up, come up substantially and then after that uh, we'll, we'll we'll take it from there so again you really need to take out these pivots here at uh, 108 once you do that you can continue much higher in Roku and you do have earnings later on in February so don't forget about that that could be also your impulse into this area of 145 to one you know one 160 I believe so again I don't want to sell anyone on you know pipe dreams that we're going to go straight up which is a very big pump it's like a 50 percent pump from where we are uh, that we're this is a guarantee but this is my target uh, according to elliott wave theory so this is this is it okay uh, all right let's move on and we will we will take a look here at uh well what is that wave three okay um we'll take a look at some other individual names we'll take a look at unity software lots of uh people requesting for unity software uh, again, we just remain chopping sideways. We really need to take out this down sloping trend line, uh, and then we'll we'll start a five wave move up inside a wave of a wave three, hopefully. Uh, but until then, uh, you know this is your buy zone. You got to pivot to trade against, and you can enter lower, right? And then you set your 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 main stops below this area. 
But if you're entering here, you know, are you really going to hold a trade uh, for a 50% downside unless you have more to allocate to your trade and then you're willing to stop out later on. But it's up to you. I'll leave it to you guys to decide. Uh, Starbucks, let's take a look at Starbucks. Good old coffee Starbucks pumping up today. Very nice move, 3.5%. It appears that we are now in our final C leg here. So looking at the 45 minute, uh, you are starting a beautiful a five wave move here so let me just illustrate this a little bit more clearly one two and now you're impulsing up in a wave three and then you should continue up in a fifth wave all the way to 102 so things are looking up for starbucks coming out of this move here we've been following this name for quite a bit of time lots of buy buy signals for starbucks especially with big money coming in on the four hour picking up all these shares so again that's not so too surprising to me you can probably see this on a lot of stocks as well I believe Roku also had some significant buying when we were at 55 and we're at 93 now. So again, that's just the way it goes. So Starbucks is doing well. Very nice to see. Uh, let's take a look at another stock here. We'll take a look at Tesla. Tesla getting a nice little pop today, uh, up about 2.5%. We did hit the buy area yesterday. It'll be wicked off, off of it. Uh, surprisingly, you know, we were selling, we we're down so much in the after hours today. Oh, sorry, the pre-market trading. We're down almost like 2%. And then we gap down uh, from the previous close and we was just a rally all the way back up. So again, that's, that's some pretty good, good buying there on uh, Tesla. And to note on top of that, we did get some significant buying, not only on the four hour, but on the daily as well. So daily, you now have significant buying coming in from big money. So that is a, a very positive thing to see, especially if we're looking for a, a low, at least in the short term, uh, you have uh, lower low here and a bullish divergence on the RSI. So that is a great setup in my opinion. And we are set to go higher for Tesla. Uh, four hour time frame. It's a very similar situation. Lower low, bullish divergence. And again, coming back to that RSI, we've been oversold for so long. Uh, not so long, but we've been oversold in such a, a severe area uh, that uh, I did expect us to at least get a relief rally in a fourth wave. Our target remains at 207 to 210. Uh, let's take a look here. And well, actually, I just want to see if there was significant buying on these dips down back in February 16th of 2000, Fe February 10th of 2016. So let's just head over there. Uh, February 10th, 2016. Was it this dip right here? Or was it this one? Or is this, te this is Tesla, correct? All right, I'm just making sure I got the the correct chart 2016 have I've gone too far have I gone too far I have gone too far if I read that 2016 is this the correct chart Tesla NASDAQ that's correct right all right let me just head over to the chart here and 2016 on this big dip we didn't see significant buying but we got a nice little green cross maybe if we get on these smaller time frames we'll actually be able to depict if we saw significant buying yeah we did we got some significant buying at the lows and on the way down so that just goes to show you that, that big money is buying here where oversold conditions are flashing so all the setups are there for a nice little pop on tesla and actually on the two-day time frame i've been looking for a green dot to confirm assuming it's going to confirm tomorrow uh tsll has confirmed a green dot uh, today so that's a that's a good sign that a potential low might be in and we're getting ready for a relief rally in tesla after being oversold for so long i'm probably going to get a bit of a short squeeze as well uh, let's move over and we'll take a look at uh some other names here let me see what we go we got what we got going on on paypal uh, paypal should be coming out of here in this uh, wave two that should be finished now uh, so paypal is in this kind of a setup here uh, to, to, to go higher in a wave three of three. So this is the, the count for PayPal. So this is what should be happening in the short to medium term. You should be getting uh, an impulse out of here. And especially on earnings tomorrow, I expect probably gap up and that would be your impulse in wave three. So that should be the bullish setup for PayPal. Uh, again, a, a lot of people keep asking, why are the markets going higher? The economy is doing so poorly. Well, you know what uh, the market doesn't care about that now and you know they're it's going to keep a uh, churning higher uh, until this the the, the market fall, until the economy finally drags down uh, this the, the market and eventually trust me it will 
but it's just, just not there yet. You know, the markets can continue to push higher, mass delusion, all that stuff. Yeah, you're, you're right. The shorts are right, but they're not right about the market crashing now. It's probably going to crash later on when we get the Fed pivot cuts, you know, and mass layoffs, unemployment spiking, all that's going to happen, right? But it's not, it's not yet. So until then, markets will push higher and erase divergence and you just squeeze the shorts right now. Um, let's let's take a look here at um, let's take a look here at so one more individual name. Uh, I actually want to cover. Uh, let me take a look here. PayPal? No, not PayPal. I already covered PayPal. Uh, I believe Apple. Apple. So Apple's still coming up in this wave too here. Now I do have a more bullish setup for Apple if uh, if it continues to push higher and decides. To extend the fifth wave which is could have technically done already or you can map it up as an overshooting b wave but if this is the case then apple can go to like 220 to 230 and then you have some price targets up here that will be fulfilled and once they do then we'll probably start to top out in the, in the indices uh, all right let's head over to uh the tlt and the uh, yield in the dollar so the markets were uh helped out today with a falling dollar which, which definitely, definitely helped equities. So if the dollar's topped out here after that 618 retrace, um, you know, in my opinion, then you're going to start to decline significantly in a five wave move, right? And if that happens, then uh, you're, you're going to be not wanting to be short the market at all because a, a falling dollar will help equities, right? So just, just, you know, know what you're getting into when you're getting into these uh, Forex shorts uh, but uh, do 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 what you want. This is what the I see according to Elliott Wave theory. All right, so that's going to be your five wave move down, and we do have targets uh, for for the, for down here. So if we're if this is the top of the B wave, then we'll just do a count from here, and then we'll drag it down to this level, and then you'll find your target uh, all the way down here, right between the one hundred percent retrace to the six one eight. But uh, we'll just do a conservative drop here because this is giving how low this is with, on the dollar. And we actually have a nice downsloping trend line. I would expect the dollar to find some support once we get to the 97 to 96 area. Or sorry, 97 to 98 area. And then you'll find some support. And then you can go to new all-time highs in the dollar. All right. Um, yeah, TLT definitely you know, got, got, a, got a nice little bit today uh, with the yields you know, popping down. Uh, if this is the top of the wave two, uh, which it could, it might not be, you know, it, it, it could still be in its ABC, a little bit more of a complex correction, right? And, and, you know, not complex, but a little bit more of a more lengthy correction, I would say. And if that's the case, uh, then you, you still got time on the clock to, to uh, get into TLT. You know, it could push higher just a little bit more, uh, do a nominal high. Uh, but unless, you know, if, if you see that it's, it's already finished, we can head over to the smaller time frames here, see if we can make a three wave move. Um, one, two, three. I mean, you could you can force and make the case that this was a three wave move on the shorter time frames, but I would like to see more of an ABC correction. But if it starts to impulse down, you're in your third wave and the wave two is in, which means yields are going much and much lower. All right, uh, that kind of wraps it up for now. Don't really have much to add. Um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. You got more earnings tomorrow. Today we had um, Snapchat, which is down 30% now. Dave Portnoy, uh, unfortunately, longing this stock with naked puts and uh, buying call options. So he's going to be buying. Uh, <laughs> he's 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 going he's going to be buying the top. He's going to be buying not the top, but he's going to be buying at a little bit of an overvalued price. Uh, for uh, Snapchat, which is unfortunate. I think he's buying something around like $15, $15 or something. So he's going to be down a significant amount, probably 20% when the market gaps down tomorrow for uh, Snapchat. All right. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Have a great evening. Peace.